This is Searching the Scriptures devotional number 16. And we are looking uh, this week at the word wonderful as it's found in Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The Hebrew word translated as wonderful is Strong's number 6382, which really describes the wonder of God himself. And when we try to speak about God, we are really at a loss because we're discussing an infinite being who is so far superior to man that our tiny little minds can only comprehend glimpses of his glory, power, and majesty. And we find these glimpses only in the scriptures. In Exodus 15, 1 to 11, we witness this in the song of praise that Moses and the Israelites sang in worship to God for having delivered them from Pharaoh and his army. The word wonders at the end of verse 11 is this Hebrew word, Strong's number 6382. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto Jehovah, and spake, saying, I will sing unto Jehovah, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider hath he thrown into the sea. Jehovah is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. Jehovah is a man of war. Jehovah is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Jehovah, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Jehovah, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou hast overthrown them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as in heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Jehovah, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? It's not too difficult to assume that if God is so wonderful as we've just read, then his word must likewise reflect his infinite wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In fact, the Bible reveals his holy nature and attributes. Just think if we did not have the Bible, we could only glean tidbits about God from this complex universe that he created. So let us be constantly praising God for giving us his word, the Bible, and preserving it for each generation of believers. Moreover, may God give each of us increasingly in this new uh, year that is almost upon us a greater desire to obey his word. I also want to mention that the root word of 6382 that is translated as wonderful here in Isaiah 9, 6 is also rendered uh, in the following passages as wonderful, 
hidden uh, and wondrous things, respectively. In Psalm 119, 129, we read, Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. And in Deuteronomy 30, 11 through 14, we find this declaration. For this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou should say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. And Psalm 119, verse 18 declares, Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of that out of thy law. And that really should be our attitude uh, and desire every time we open the Bible, every time we read or study the Bible, to uh, remember this prayer. What are the wondrous things that we are to behold in God's law, the Bible? It is always some aspect of Christ and his gospel. May God indeed open our eyes to his truth as we continue living in the day of judgment that God might reveal more to us about his timeline and more uh, about uh, his second coming uh, according to his will. Even as he ministered to the two men on the road to Emmaus in Luke 24, 27, uh, 30 to 31, and, and verse 45. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and brake, and gave it to them, and their eyes were opened, and they knew him. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the Scriptures.